Today I'd like to talk about the four stages of learning tennis. Now the first stage is unconscious incompetence. You don't know that you don't know and you don't know what you don't know. So basically you're kind of oblivious to it. You know, let's say you take up the game and you get out there and you're hitting forehands and backhands, volleys, serves, and you're very inconsistent. But you don't know what it is that's causing your inconsistency. So you're at stage one there, unconscious incompetence. Stage two is conscious incompetence. So you find me on YouTube, and let's just say as an example, you're having trouble with your, your forehand volley, okay? A volley, any ball you hit before it bounces, okay? And every time you go to hit that volley, the ball's all over the place. It's in the net, it's long, it's, it's very inconsistent. So you find me on YouTube, you find a tip where I'm talking about the volley, and I say, hey, when you hit that volley, you really want to just keep the wrist fixed. You don't want to be flicking with the wrist. You just want a fixed wrist and a little shoulder swing. So you said, hey, uh, this guy seems like he knows what he's talking about. Let me try that tip. So you go out and try it. And hey, when you're really dialed in and your brain is really focusing, you start to hit some nice volleys. But you're still at that conscious incompetent stage because you haven't practiced it enough. You haven't hardwired it enough into the brain so that when your eyes and your brain see that ball coming to the forehand side, it's not wired in there strong enough yet. Okay, so you have to get out there and practice, practice, practice. Now, you get out, you practice, then you get to stage three, which is conscious competence. Okay, so you're dialing in and you're really thinking about it every time you're, you're practicing with a friend or a ball machine and you're really uh, dialed in on keeping that wrist in a fixed position and just taking that little shoulder swing on your volley. No more flicking with the wrist. And you're, you're getting very consistent. Okay, so you're starting to hit those volleys nice every time, consistently in the court. That's stage three, conscious competence. Now, stage four. Stage four is unconscious competence. That's when you get to the point where you don't even have to think about it anymore. It's on automatic pilot. And that's the stage you want to get to. It takes a lot of practice. But what happens when you're in stage three, conscious competence, and you're really dialing in, you know, you're, you're focusing. Every time you hit that volley, you're practicing with a friend, pro, or ball machine. And every time you hit that volley, you're, you're telling yourself, keep the wrist fixed. Keep that wrist fixed, swing from the shoulder. Rick's fi fixed wrist, swing from the shoulder. Eventually, what happens, you're gonna reach unconscious competence because you're not gonna to have to think about it anymore. The brain has it hardwired. So what happens when you see that ball come to the forehand volley, your brain automatically activates those little neurons and sends the signals, sends the signals automatically to the wrist, to the shoulder, and you're gonna do that automatically. That's stage four, unconscious competence. So that's the goal for all your strokes. You wanna be at that stage. So it's good for you to consider, you know, as a player, where are you? Are you at stage one, unconscious incompetence? Maybe stage two, conscious incompetence. Or three, conscious competence. Or have you finally reached stage four? unconscious competence. So it's good to figure out where you are, that way you're going to progress even faster. So for more tips like these, and to help you get to that unconscious competence stage with all your strokes, 
please check out my website, which is listed in the description box below. And give us a thumbs up and a like on uh, YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. All the best. Take care.